All right, there you go, your cornbread recipe. It's on our website. Time for another chili recipe now, and I'm really excited about the gal in my kitchen right now. This is Darlene McDonough. She is from Escanaba, drove all the way from Escanaba, and let me tell you, um, she is one mean cook. I try to be. It's so nice to meet you, Darlene. Well, same here, Amy. I watch your show whenever I can. But... Well, love that. I know you're a busy gal, but I appreciate that. So right. I'm excited because we're making chili soup. I've heard all about chili soup, never made it, never have it, had it before. Well, I think up in the UP, people think of chili as not having macaroni. Well, most of the people who make chili up there put some type of macaroni in there, a pasta of some sort. So that's what we have. And I use the, toma the vegetable juice with the tomato sauce instead of the chunk tomatoes or whatever. Yum. So it's kind of a lighter flavor, but lots of heat. It sounds absolutely wonderful. So and something different, too. So the first thing we're going to do is get our pasta into our boiling water. And we're just using, you said any kind of, any any kind kind of pasta. pasta works. Elbow macaroni, Salt whatever. A little bit. Now we better get to work on browning our ground beef. How much ground beef, uh, I'm darling? using a pound today. Okay, so we'll get it right in there. Could put the olive oil in there? Oh, yes. Um, Dar Darlene was telling me about this. These infused oils are wonderful. This they happens are. to be a garlic infused olive oil, just to add a little bit more flavor. Right. Um, use that on everything, you say. Just yeah, about stuff. other than eggs. So I haven't tried it on eggs yet. Well, give it a try. Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> okay. So right in there, the one pound of ground beef. We're just going to start browning that in that wonderful oil. Yum. That oil does smell good. Mmm. Mm. Yum. I'll break it up a little bit. Now we've got some onion. We have two medium onions. Okay. Throw them right in there with Throw the ground beef. beef. Right. Okay. And we have three ribs of celery. Okay. We have a, one whole green pepper and a little bit of yellow and red pepper. Fun, so some nice color in there. Right, I like color. that. So lots of veggies in this, lots too. Lots of veggies. And I, here I have a couple tablespoons of dried chives and parsley. Okay. Would we'll you just throw that in there okay. for you? And, again, we go back to some garlic. Here's some more parsley garlic. Darlene and I, right away, she's like, you use the same kind I do. I love my garlic salt. Right. You know? And this is the best. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Mild, but yet... Flavorful. Mm -hmm. So some garlic salt in here. And some black pepper. Okay. And we have some salt. Okay. And some hot Mexican style chili powder. Okay. About uh, what tablespoon or so? Two tablespoons Two at tablespoons least. Of Makes it nice and hot. Yum. But not too hot. I mean at first when I tried the hot Mexican style, I thought, woo, but it wasn't. It was so good. Just, good? Just perfect, yes. Uh huh. In fact, I bought it by mistake the first time. <laughs> well, it was a good mistake. Oh, I know Sometimes it. Sometimes that happens. I know you it. You make I, a mistake and it works right. out. I was in a rush and I grabbed it and I thought it was a regular chili powder and it was a hot Mexican style. Uh-oh. All so right. It, well, it was good. Very worked good. Out. Okay. Right. I'm going to I'm checking on your pasta here when right. I get that going. Okay. Um, when I start opening pans, right. you we're work just, on Okay. We're okay. just going to let this cook up a little bit and soften up. So we've got one big can of V8 juice. Right, or any type of, any a brand of vegetable juice is fine. It doesn't okay. have to be that brand. I've okay. used other brands as well. But this is gonna add some extra flavor rather than oh, yes. straight it's up not tomato gonna, juice. Right. It just has so many vegetables in it and it sure. is so tasty. But we're gonna add a little bit of water to this, Amy. You bet. Okay, would you and like me to just put this sure, in here? go for it. Okay. It's about a cup of water we're going to add to that, and that will help to um, get your veggies in there nice and soft. Okay. I have got one can of tomato sauce. There you go. Okay. One can of kidney beans. Do you want me to drain these yes, kidney please. beans? Yes, please. Yes. Uh-huh. And we added the water. It should equal about one can of um, the water, one can of the tomato sauce. Okay. For the and then here is your V8 juice. And the V8 juice. There you go. Mmm. I'm going to go to drain these beans. Those, once you get the meat going, it's kind of one of those dump and go recipes, darling. Exactly. I exactly. love those. those it doesn't take kind. long and it's smelly good. Whoops. How long do you usually let this simmer, darling? Oh, and actually, when the pasta is done, this is pretty much done. Once you get your onions and your um, peppers nice and soft, it's ready to go. Okay, so we just kind of want to bring it up to a right. boil. Bring it up to a boil. Get the pasta we're going to drain there. and just pour it in. And I like to cook the pasta separately. It kind of gets rid of the some of the starch and keeps your uh, soup from getting too thick. I agree. And sometimes you know? also those noodles can get a little bit mushy. Mushy. Yeah, right. That's exactly. why I don't cook them real well done. Yeah. A little bit of al dente. Yeah, I'm with and you. Then I, 
put them in there. But just one can of beans. Mm -hmm. So you can see it is more like a soup consistency, you right. know. Um, but and it, so you know the pasta really just kind of fills it fills all up. Fills it up, yeah. Right. right. Uh -huh. Well, you know what we'll do? Let's let this simmer for a little bit. Let our pasta finish cooking. Darlene's going to stick around, and we'll finish up this chili. She's also. Um, I thought we needed a dessert for this chili pottery. Right. What, do, what do you think? I think so. So her homemade apple pie is in the oven, oh, and we're going to make one here. It smells amazing. So stick around. Oh, a little bit of sugar too. A little That's bit of the sugar. last thing. Just at the end, to kind of just it won't be sweet. Just to right. kind of yeah. Right. If you're using tomato as a chunky tomato, it has a lot of acidity into it. So the sugar kind of helps to get rid of that bitter taste. A little sweet it sweetens up the pot a little bit. Great, great but idea. Using the VH juice, you don't have to have as much sugar. Sure. Just a little dab at the end. Love right. that. Right. All right.